All right, so back again. Uh, I got two boxes today from Amazon. I'm pretty sure the second box is my grow light just by the side of it. And then this one should be jam packed with goodies. So let's see what we got. Pretty much, I know everything in here is going towards the grow, so it's a little bit of everything. Let's see what came. A bunch of bubble wrap for my cat to enjoy. All right, first one. Got to have a watering can <laughs> with uh, different kinds of. You turn the knob, and it could be a gentle stream or not so gentle. So that's going to be a good thing to have. What else? Cal mag, calcium supplement for the plant. Um, yeah, you need to put that in every once in a while. What else? Ooh, what's this? A pH meter. This one is for the water itself. So you stick this little device in the water before you give it to the plants and it'll tell you what your pH is at. And ideally uh, you want between 6.0 and 7.0, I guess is a, a varying uh, argument. But the plant that I'm specifically gonna be growing is uh, thankfully the grower suggests to be specifically around 6.5 during this entire cycle. So something like this will come in handy in monitoring where my water that I'm giving the plant is at before giving it to the plant. Because you can't just give it tap water. That's no good. What is this little jam? What is this? Oh, cool. Whoa! All right, so these are tiny. Uh, these are tiny little humidity meters that will tell you digitally what your humidity is at. And even though I have a humidity meter inside of the grow tent that I have with the thermostat on the wall that tells me what the overall grow humidity level is at, these two, when I first start my seedlings out and I put them in their uh, you know, pots to grow, I'm gonna put on top of them a little like humidity dome for the first like two days roughly, three days, however what it takes for the seed to germinate and pop through the soil. And in those two or three days, I wanna put those, these inside the domes so I can get an idea of what's the humidity inside the dome as opposed to the entire grow room. Because you want more humidity when the seed is germinate. So, long-winded explanation for why these little four dollars, four dollars, dude, for like super knowledge. Spend the four bucks, dude. What else? Oh, speaking of, it's my little dome. So, sweet. So when I when I uh, <laughs> when I put my seedlings, or my seeds specifically in, I'm gonna drop that little dome in, has a little gauge on top to monitor ventilation throughout it, but I can then put that little meter in here with the seed and get an idea. You know, the first run is really uh, not only obviously for fun and pleasure and yada yada yada, but it's also uh, to gain hopefully a lot of knowledge. So that'll help. What else do we have? Aha, uh -huh, another soil meter. So I have the meter that checks the pH for the water that I'm gonna be giving the plant, but then this will stick deep down into the pots that I'm growing and check the actual soil. So maybe I don't water for a day or two, so I still wanna know where my plant's overall pH is at, even if it's been a day since I watered it. So you can't just rely on I don't want to just rely on just checking my water. I also want to know where's the soil itself at. And lastly, Vivo Sun five gallon fabric pots. So it's a five pack. Uh, I'm only going to grow two plants at a time. So I feel like this was a worthwhile buy because it'll last me, you know, two and a half grows essentially. So, so there we go. So the grow pots pH meter for the soil, pH meter for the water, little tiny humidity detectors or readers, uh, domes, humidity domes for seedlings, chromag, and uh, a pretty basic 
watering post, the watering can. So, that is the big box. Alright, okay, number two. It took a long time and a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of reading, uh, just general like Reddit or, you know, random posts about what light am I going to buy. And, you know, obviously there's a huge debate among a lot of growers and it's my first time. So I'm like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm, as a first, first timer, I'm like a little bit gullible of I'm reading, oh, all right, that, that light seems sick and it's only a hundred bucks. Oh, but then they say that light sucks, but then they say they should get this light, and it's $800, and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. So after a long time of going back and forth and reading a ton of reviews, I kind of decided to go with the Spider Farmer SP2000, I believe it is. Uh, and I guess a couple of the reasons that stood out were that it had the quality diodes from Samsung and that seemed to be a, a, a big deal for a lot of people that knew what they were talking about. Got me. And yeah. Oof, that's exciting. So, I'm just trying to be as careful as possible with this thing, obviously, because I do not want to drop it. But here we go, it is the Spider Farmer SP2000. It's a 200 watt true draw from the wall. So um, it feels like it should be a good light. I mean, I'm excited about it. You know, honestly, again, I can't sit here and describe the exact specific specs off the top of my head, but I do feel like I put in quite many hours in uh, reading what people that know much more than I do suggest to start with and given the dimensions of my tent which is a, a roughly a three foot by two foot tent um, this seems like it's going to give me the nicest coverage and things like lumens which I don't really know about but you know blah 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 so that's everything I got today I'm pretty excited I will see you all for part two of this video in the actual room where I'm growing all right, so we're back now in my room. Uh, this is the long 10 foot closet that I have in my room that I decided I wanted to dedicate half of it to growing. Uh, so I can always keep it closed because I turned the knobs of the door handles into my exhausts and my intakes. So I also found a tent that fits absolutely perfect in the space that I'm working with. Uh, my cat approves of it. And so this is where we're at. Recently got the AC Infinity exhaust fan. It's a four inch, uh, the T4. It's exhausting out through the side. I got also the AC Infinity um, carbon filter. So everything is rigged up and ready to go. I have a couple fans set up. My intake is set up to suck in cool air right here. Go through some pipe working. There's a booster fan. And then it blows out nice cool air at the bottom. Sucks out the hot air on top. So what we're going to do now is hang the light right about here and pretty much it's one of the last steps until we're ready to grow. So I'm going to speed that part up, see you at the end. Alright, so we got it going. Uh, essentially what I did was I took the box from the Vivo Sun tent that I still had and I put it upright and laid it on top, tried to balance it as best I could, had to kind of use my leg a little bit to make sure it didn't go over one side or the other, but it basically kept it at that level that you saw. I rigged all four corners and then houdini that shit, pulled the box out and all right, we're good. So I have everything on these cool little levers so I can, let's see. I can raise and lower as needed. So let's see, it might be weird to do one at a time, but. Uh... Well, 
damn, this thing is bright. And I'm really glad actually that I got the quote unquote new, new model of the Spider Farmer 2000 because uh, from what I hear, the old ones when you wanted to change, um, if you wanted to dim it or change the wattage being used, you have to actually take the controller off. You have to like screw it off, do some weird thing with a screwdriver, shit I didn't want to do. So now, thankfully, it comes with this new attachment, comes with it, and I can dim or brighten my light. Damn, that light is bright, dude. So I am psyched. This is, uh, this is great. This is really seems like it's gonna work out really well. I have everything rigged on my pulley system so I can raise and lower the spider farmer light as the plants get taller or, you know, um, and yeah, so tonight I'm actually going to leave it on maybe like a medium setting for a couple hours because as you can see over here, I have my thermostat and for the past couple days, I've just been monitoring like, what is it like inside my closet? What's life like in my closet? And apparently life in my closet ranges between 66 is the lowest I've seen it today. And it's probably because the window's open, but 66 is the low, 69 degrees Fahrenheit seems to be the average norm. I've seen that 70, 71, maybe once. Um, and my average humidity is ranging between about 48% and 53%. So now that I have the light, I'm going to kind of leave this on for like a couple hours, maybe even overnight, and kind of gauge, just start doing some uh, Excel sheet shit, but in a notebook, because I'm fucking old school, so I'm gonna do it in the notebook that the iPad has popped up on right now, and write what my averages are with the light on low overnight, with the light on medium overnight, with the light on high overnight, what the humidity is, and just kind of get an idea because I have to wait like at least a week, probably 10 days for my seeds to arrive. So in that 10 days, I'm also be doing some research. So I'm gonna take some readings and see what life is like with the light going. And I don't anticipate it raising my temperature too much, but I, I do hope it raises it a little bit because 66 is a little low. I'd like to hope that my plant gets somewhere in the, in the 70s. And uh, that's it, that's where we're at. So please, Take a moment if you enjoyed this, uh, check out my other videos, like, subscribe, do all that stuff the kids are saying, smash the fucking buttons for me, and I would totally appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon uh, with a update of when I actually plant the seeds, which should be next week, so stay tuned.